In this video, we will review annotation, pattern annotation, and how to edit. That means that we will be putting signs on patterns and we'll be able to edit them. I have a file open with a um, sewn up skirt and all the patterns for that skirt. It doesn't matter what file you have open, but just make sure that you go to the 2D window. We will work on the flat patterns. So I have uh, made the 3D window a little smaller by grabbing this black line here in the middle and just pulling it to the left a little bit so I have more space for my patterns. So let's zoom in a little bit on any of the patterns. And in order to work with the pattern annotation tool, you need to come to the large capital A. When you hover over it, you will see that it says pattern annotation. Left click once on that and you will have the tool in your hand. You can see that you have this type tool. So left click once on any pattern and now you can add whatever text you like. So for this one, I will add front skirt and when you're ready, you can just click anywhere else. So now we have the uh, writing. You see that it became vertical. If you want, you can, if you want to change that, you need to come to the edit annotation tool. It is the smaller A. Left click once on that. And now you can come left click and grab that sign and you can move it anywhere you like. So I'm going to move it here. And you can also see that it is vertical. If you would like to rotate it or make it horizontal, you can come up to this dot here, left click, hold it, and just rotate until you're happy with the sign. Obviously, you can move it any way you like. And you can also right click on that and delete it. So pattern notation is the larger, capital A. Edit annotation is the smaller A. We also have a variety of other signs to help us with the patterns. So for that purpose, I just want to delete one of the patterns just so you can see better. So I'm going to click on this, delete this pattern. And this way, if I were to sew this pattern, instead of having two different pattern pieces, let's say that I wanted to do this on a fold. That's why I removed this pattern because I would like to have the fabric here on a fold. So if I'd like to have the sign here, you could also click on this pattern symbol and that will give you a variety of symbols in your hand. This particular one is the fold. So with that symbol in your hand, you come to the fold line, left click once and it will place this pattern. Under this tool, we also have a variety of other tools. So in order to see them, let's see, open property editor and you will see that up here we have a drop down menu with a variety of other signs for example clicking on any of them maybe this one this could um, annotate for you gathering for example you could create some kind of a sign that tells you what direction that would like to go to for example if you have pleats that needs to be folded in a particular way you can utilize that tool um, if this is a cut line, you can click on this symbol and those tools will be placed wherever you left click on the pattern. Again, we work with the annotate, pattern annotation, edit the pattern annotation, and we also place various pattern symbols. And in order to see all of the symbols, you need to open the property editor and then click down on the drop-down menu to see all of the possibilities.